This is a resource intended to quickly remind students about the basic concepts around manual muscle testing. The structure of this resource is divided into manual muscle testing theory and practice. We will first answer what manual muscle testing is and how to interpret the Oxford scale. Manual muscle testing is a standardized procedure to evaluate individual or group muscle performance. It tests effective performance of a movement against gravity or resistance from the therapist's through full range of motion. The agonist of our tested muscle is measured concentrically. This procedure is great as it does not require a machine, provides lots of information for setting treatment goals, and evaluate treatment effectiveness. However, it can be subjective on how the therapist judge patient performance, particularly the plus grades on the Oxford scale. Oxford scale is the standardized descriptor of a patient's particular muscles or group's performance. It has five grades of description and the plus grades. Grade zero has no contraction during palpation and testing, while grade five is normal muscle function that is able to handle all the therapist's resistance equivalent to performing an individual's unique, necessary daily activities. Grade 4 requires a muscle to go through full range of motion, a joint allows against gravity forces, and a little bit of therapist resistance. Grade 4 plus performance cannot push through all the resistance they need for their unique daily life requirements, but they're almost there. They can get close to full range of motion with a grade 5 test and can easily perform a grade 4 test. The exact amount of resistance to test for grade 4 and 5 can get subjective as well as judging how easily a patient can perform grade 4 to reward them a plus grade in case they fail grade 5. Grade 3 requires a muscle to go through full range of motion a joint allows against gravity forces, but no additional pressure from the therapist. Grade 3 plus can push through resistance but cannot go through full range of motion. Grade 2 requires a muscle to go through full range of motion a joint allows in a gravity eliminated position. Grade 2 plus is able to push against therapist resistance less than gravity in a gravity eliminated position through full range of motion. Grade 1 is given while testing for grade 2. It is when palpation of the tested muscle shows that contraction is present, but it falls far from grade 2. Grade 1 plus has some more movement in a gravity eliminated position, but is unable to reach full range. Now we have revised the basics around manual muscle testing. It is time to talk about the procedure and some examples. I'll do my demonstration on another physiotherapy student who gladly volunteered himself for this learning material. Therefore, my video will be more focused on teaching the students who are watching rather than real life patient interaction. This is to make sure students will know what each step of the procedure looks like in practice. Before putting hands on the patient, decide the muscle or groups that will be tested and test the unaffected side first to see what is the patient's normal. Introduce your name, use the patient's name, and provide informed consent. Then, put the patient into a position that pushes consistently against or without gravity. Most often start at grade 3. Demonstrate the movement passively. Repeat grade 3 twice to ensure reliability and give encouragement to ensure accuracy. If the patient only performed the test once and feel discouraged, then the result may appear worse than what is actually happening. Then, move on to testing grade 2 and 1 or grade 4 and 5 depending on the result. Be sure to support the limb for grade 2 and lower without giving assistance and palpate the tested muscle at the same time to test grade 1 or 0. When recording manual muscle testing results, use a table that shows patient name, date, and time the test is performed. State the tested muscle, left and right grade, and accessory descriptors, which provide extra information about the details of the test. P is when pain limits muscle performance. T is when performance is limited by abnormal muscle tone. C is when ROM is limited by muscle or soft tissue contracture. ROM is when movement is limited by joint stiffness. PS is when performance is limited due to proximal instability. F is when the patient fails to comply after informed consent. 
OM is when the patient is unable to be tested or is omitted from testing. Hello, Brian. My name is Zuri. I'll be your student physiotherapist today. So we're going to demonstrate some manual muscle testing process to some audiences so that they will learn how to do manual muscle testing in the future. Would you want to proceed with that? Yes, let's do it. <coughs> Excellent. So we're going to test this muscle right now and this will be a grade 4 plus. Mm -hmm. So to start off with, I am going to demonstrate the movement for you. We're just going to do this. Like that. Now, do you want to try this movement yourself? <coughs> Excellent. So now I'll be adding a little bit of resistance. Excellent. Since you can achieve a grade 4, I am going to now test for grade 5. Keep going, you can do this. You can do this, come on, come on. All right, <coughs> so not quite. So after we have tested the other arm, we're going to test this arm now, and this will be a grade two plus. So to start off with, we'll always demonstrate the movement to our patient. Make sure we're palpating the muscle. <coughs> and now, can you please do the same movement again? Come on, you can do this. Let's try our best. That's okay. Since you're having trouble to do that movement uh, in this position, we're going to change into a little bit of an easier position for you. Can you please lie down on your side? <coughs> Thank you so much. So now, we're going to keep on going with our test. So I'll just demonstrate the same movement again. Now, can you try to do the same movement by yourself? I'll be palpating the muscle as I'm doing the movement. Excellent! So it looks like you're having no trouble doing a grade 2 movement. So I'm going to add a little bit of resistance. Okay, so since Brian has no trouble doing a little bit of a resistance in throughout full range in a gravity eliminated position, we're going to give him a grade 2 plus result for this arm. <laughs>